It's our second vlog coming to you from our cruise on board the Morella Explorer, where we're taking the iconic islands cruise. Last week was all fun and frolics on the ship. This week we're let loose on two of the most stunning and picturesque Greek islands there are. So come and join us for whitewashed towns, blue dome churches and plenty of wine, food and beer. And some more cats, standard. If you don't know us, I'm Rachel, he's Wills and we are Postcard and a Pint. Go on then, tell us where you are. We're, we're in Santorini! Santorini. We certainly are, and you can tell we're excited as we've even gotten up for sunrise. Beautiful. So what's on the agenda today then? We're super excited today. We've been to Santorini before, but we have never been to Oya, the one where the really pretty church is. So we're going on a tour. Come with us. Are you sure you're pronouncing that right? I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's 600 steps up that there mountain. We've been to Santorini twice before, we've walked up those twice, and gosh it hurts, I tell you. There is a cable car that runs up the top, but there's loads of queues to donkeys, but we don't like doing that. But we're not going to walk up them today, but we might walk down them later. Well, you might. I'm not. We last came here ten years ago, when we was young. And anyway, there's more important things in life now, like breakfast time. OK, so it's cooked breakfast again, but we need our energy today. Indeed. Are you ready? Rachel, ready. And Wills? Wills, ready. Tickets ready, then it was off to the Broadway show lounge to wait for our tour. We had a comfortable wait while they called the different bus numbers down to the gangway. Soon it was time for bus 15 and we went to board our tender boat. For you non-cruisy types, tendering is the process of being carried ashore by a smaller vessel when the cruise ship can't dock at the port. Santorini is always a tender port for cruise ships, but who doesn't love a good boat ride first thing in the morning? We do! We were going to meet our bus at Athenios Ferry Port. Yikes! A road goes up there! So we moored up and then found Bus 15 and our tour guide. Nice to meet you, let's have a fun day. Now just excuse me while I close my eyes for the ascent up a narrow windy road with death drops off the side. Thank you. After a 40 minute drive we arrived in Ia. Yep, somebody learnt they've been saying it wrong their whole life. Every day's a school day. Now does it live up to the hype? Let's see. It's as if time stands still in Ia. We were one of the first buses there, but life felt unhurried and the views out over the caldera were incredible. It's easy to see why Ia is the jewel in Santorini's crown. It's absolutely stunning. Being totally British, we were of course too hot and decided to stop for a drink. Now to find somewhere with amazing views. We've stopped for a drink stop because it's very hot, but what a gorgeous view. You can't get a better view than that for a Coca-Cola stop. Yep, as views go, it's a pretty good one. All refreshed, it was back to wandering the quaint narrow streets. Magenta flowers, just for you, Dara. We enjoyed seeing all the Greek produce on offer, but no buying just yet. We want to find a perfect shot of the blue domed churches. Something like that. Are you lost? That's where we were, above that one. Looking which way? That way. Will Wills appears to be, but I've got it all under control. Blue glass is lovely, but what we want is the perfect shot of a blue domed church. That'll do. It's not too shabby, is it? It's all right. Back in the late 19th century, the big houses on the main streets were the captain's houses and lived in by the wealthy. The poor lived in the cave houses that were carved into the rock. Ironically, it's now the cave houses that have been turned into boutique five-star hotels and are now worth millions. Right, now it was time for shopping. My sister had tasked me with finding her a rubbish Greek church for her bathroom. Mission accepted and I'll get onto it right away. Just after I visited him. Hello, hello, sweetheart. Can I touch? Can I touch? Oh, good boy. Right, where were we? Rubbish Greek Church. This looks like the shop for us. I mean, they've got sheep. And of course, Christmas decorations. And rubbish Greek churches. One, please. Now, how have you found Ia? We're heading back to the bus. Absolutely loved Ia. We've wanted to come here for ages and we will be coming back for sure. We certainly will, but it's time to enjoy an air-conditioned coach as we head off to our next stop, a view of the whole island. Are you enjoying it, Wills? On the top of this hill is the Prophet Elias Monastery. 
It is still inhabited by a few monks who make wine and other Greek goods. Cushy job. So, what have you learnt, kids? This is the highest part of Santorini. Not very much, then. It is a cracking view, though. Now, back on your bus, we're off to Fira. Made it! This is the Orthodox Metropolitan Cathedral. It was built in 1827 and then renovated after the catastrophic earthquake in 1956. It's absolutely beautiful inside with some stunning mosaics. But today I wanted to light a candle for my parents. It's money left to me by them that has paid for this cruise. They absolutely loved cruise holidays and visited me when I worked on the cruise ships. So they'll be smiling down on this trip. Wendy and Mike, this one's for you. It was well past lunchtime by now, so we started looking for somewhere Greek to eat. I think everyone loves Santorini and... So do I. Yes, we definitely want to return. Now, Greek lunch. That looks a bit posh for us. Mm, and that looks like a souvenir shop. You won't find Greek lunch there either. This'll do a lovely... Italian. Italian for starters, Greek for the first course. All washed down with an Italian pizza and a Greek lager. Champion. Now make sure you've got everything before you leave, Wills. I left my bag in the restaurant that guides chases down the street. Oops. Idiot. Now let's cram in some more sightseeing before I get the cable car down and you walk the 586 steps. Ah, views of Santorini. We were there this morning. We certainly were. Fanny Falgaris, if you're watching, they found your credit card. Cheers, lads. We'd learnt on our tour that Crazy Donkey is an IPA brewed first in Santorini. Four, isn't it? We paid a flying visit to the Cathedral of St John the Baptist. This was built in 1823, but rebuilt in 1970 after the devastating earthquake of 1956. This is a Roman Catholic place of worship and very beautiful. No candle lighting here though. The colours of this cathedral are stunning and look fantastic against the beautiful blue sky. But we're hot again and it's time for a drink. That'll do. Tell us something about Greek beer, Wills. One of the popular Greek beers is Mythos, Yamas. So much Yamas, we bought him a t-shirt and more Christmas decorations. We even got a second rubbish church so Ruth could choose. Right, I don't know about you, Wills, but I'm taking the cable car. Ooh, I didn't know Margaret and Dennis Thatcher funded it. That was a joke. It was the Lula and Ivanilos Foundation. Right, all aboard and down we go. Spoiler alert, Wills took the cable car. We didn't trust him not to get lost on a road with only one direction to travel in. Hello, crazy people walking and sniffy donkeys. Three minutes later and you arrive at the old port, ready to take a tender back to your ship. That'll do. We'll take you, please. Our ship's crew were waiting to get us on board and also handing out water. Very useful. What a lovely visit we'd had. Bye Santorini, until next time. We'll certainly be back. Then it was back to our home at sea and ready for another fun night on the Morella Explorer. But first, a new addition to these videos. It's Towel Animal Takedown. Presenting Swan. Be gone. Tragic. Now go take a swim, you're always moaning that you're hot. Yep, so are you. Then it was time to take one last look at the whitewashed towns clinging to the edge of the cliffs because... We're just leaving Santorini. Once upon a time, Santorini was a round island until a huge volcanic eruption in 1600 BC made it into five islands. How's this evening going, Wills? Just want to say, yet again, 2,000 people on the ship. We're on our own, there's no one about, it's brilliant. And it was the perfect place to watch the sunset. How beautiful. Now, where are we going to eat tonight, Wills? We haven't gone to the restaurant tonight, so I've got an awful lot of time. So we'll come to the marketplace instead. Chinese night. Delicious. Now it's showtime. lie, this show confused us quite a lot. There was a theme and a concept, but nothing actually happened. 
The show team gave it their all though, and there were some lovely moments. Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick and think of you. Well done, guys. Now we're off to the Mediterranean bar for a nightcap. We've just watched the show, stopped for a quick drink afterwards, and tomorrow's making us. Way! Morning, and look who's up before sunrise again! To say we're excited for this stop is an understatement. We're not even going to show you breakfast this morning, you know the drill, sausage, bacon and all that. Look, a tug! There's a gag in there somewhere. No tendering today, we were docked. Now about that tug gag, Wills. Ooh! Uh, no. Sorry about him. Let's start the day. Morning. Morning. We're in Mykonos. Ooh. Oh, a happy place for us. We absolutely been love here a few it times, here. haven't we? Yeah. There's now a new dock for the cruise ship, yeah. so we've chosen to walk in. It's going to take us about 40 minutes. So they say. So they say. We'll tell you if that's it is true. Early in the morning, but right at the exit to the port, there's a sea ferry. Which cheekily on board, they didn't tell the passengers that, and they're charging them five quid for a bus. Five euros. Five euros. Sorry for a bus. No, five quid. Five pounds is it? Five oh, yeah. pounds for a Whereas bus. Two euros. For yeah, water ta taxi. taxi, literally straight outside where the, so where the ship docks. We are going to get the water taxi back, so come Maybe. with us as we walk into Mykonos. Yay! Do be warned, there isn't a footpath for part of the walk, but what's that? How funny is that? Next in is the Celebrity Infinity, which is one of the sister ships to our ship, which used to be the Celebrity Galaxy. Which is the sister ship of the one you used to work on, the Celebrity Century, which is now the Morella Explorer 2. We know, we know. Now tell us about Mykonos. We've been to Mykonos a fair few times before, we even stayed here twice and we stayed in a hotel just up that road and it was just as windy yes the Cyclades are notoriously windy islands how's the walk going then we're nearly there we've been walking about 20 minutes which is about right we've been stopping to do a bit of filming and yeah nearly there and as we were shaded by the hill it wasn't too hot either this is the main bus stop where you can catch buses to all over the island and this is my new friend a limb puss oh you are cute isn't he just chilling out on a motorbike, getting pets, with his mates Quackopolis and Duckimus in the background. That's the life. We then met Midnight Moussaka for a pet as we wandered down memory lane. Tell us about this then. Whenever we used to walk into Mykonos, we always passed this boat and there was always octopus and squid, and squid hanging up to dry for the cash. I it. don't know if you're not allowed to do that in this day and age because it was a bit a, a long time ago, but um, there's no octopus hanging up there today, but great memories. Turns out you can do that. In fact, it's a delicacy, sunbathed octopus. The sun had only just risen and already we were having the best day ever. Now I could be wrong, but I think back in the day, and maybe still now, this beach used to be known as the old hippie beach. And some good friends of ours, Angel and Sandy, if you're watching, I do remember, I think I remember once Angel saying that Sandy used to hang out here quite a lot in the 60s. So if you are watching Sandy, hope this brings back some good memories for you. Hope you're well. Cheers, Angel and Sandy, and we'll be back for a dip in the sea later. What have you seen now, Rach? Isn't that amazing? Accessibility onto this beach. You can get your wheelchair down, get into a sea chair and be taken out into the sea safely. Perfect. Yes, and in Greece they trust you to adult responsibly and use it yourself. In the UK they wouldn't allow this without some poor sod having to operate it and make sure stupid British people didn't drown themselves. I digress. We're now at the harbour. And what a beautiful harbour it is. We've spent many a time drinking milkshakes here. Milkshakes? Yes, we've changed a lot over the years, but postcard and a milkshake doesn't have the same ring to it. We're not sure what this church is called, but we loved it. Small, but perfectly formed. With so much intricate detail. Every morning in Mykonos, the fishermen bring their catch to this market to sell. You've got to be up early though, it's usually done and dusted by 9am. This church is the Church of St Nicholas, the protector of sailors and travellers. How very apt. And this is where Wendy and Michael's candle went in Mykonos. And that's where we'll be catching the water bus from later. Now it was time to walk around the headland to the most famous and photographed church in Mykonos Old Town. No, not that one. That one. Paraportiani is actually five small churches built on top of or next to each other. They weren't all built at the same time. The oldest church dates back to the late 14th century. Paraportiani translates as standing next to the door, meaning the church lay next to the castle that they are still uncovering today. 
Then we wandered down to the area of Little Venice. Go on, Rach, tell us why you love Mykonos, missing out crucial words in your first sentence. One of the reasons we fell in Mykonos was the film Shirley Valentine. I think deep down we're both Shirley Valentines. We both like to run away from life and um, swim in an ocean as deep as forever. And we watch the film every now and again, we get nostalgic for Mykonos. And this is where she had Greek salad with her friend Jane in the film Little Venice. Oh, now will we get wet? We're gonna risk it, go as a biscuit, come on. Oh, I'm slipping everywhere. We made it across mostly dry. Of all the times we've been to Mykonos, we've never walked up to the iconic windmills. Let's get that rectified now. These windmills were constructed by the Venetians in the 16th century and were used to mill grain. Only 16 windmills survive on the whole of Mykonos and five of them are here. And yet another church, we didn't go into that one. Wills wanted to find a beach that he'd seen on another YouTube video. Go on lad, say your lines. Despite the hustle and bustle of the old town, there's still always somewhere quiet to find. Well done, and then I met two more friends. Oh yeah. Meet Cleopatra and Claudius Maximus. Friends for life. One of the windmills now houses a local museum dedicated to the history of the Mykonos windmills. Mykonos windmills tick. Now what do we say? It's all right here, isn't it? Love it. We went wandering through the old streets into yet more churches. This one was cute, but more importantly, Wills, can you share with us some of Jesus' teaching? What does Jesus say? No, he doesn't. Moving on. Mykonos Town is picture postcard perfect, and at this time of the morning, lovely and quiet too. But it's time for a drink, and we're going to see if we can get a drink and a seat on the balcony of a bar we used to frequent, Katerina's. Many an evening we'd sit here looking at the windmills and watching the sunset. Good times. Let's continue to lose ourselves in the whitewashed streets. Don't mind her, she's armless. Sorry. Little windmills, we didn't buy any. Who needs those when at every turn you've got views like these? So all that walking is going to work up an appetite. So channeling our inner Shirley... Ooh, boobies. Oh, sorry, I got distracted then. We made our way back to Little Venice, hoping to get a table by the sea. Success! I think actually this is the spot where she had Valentine had a brief sap. It's not pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know why, but it was one of those perfect moments. A local beer. Tatsiki and bread in Greece. It doesn't get any better than this. It really doesn't. A simple meal with your slightly messy best friend and stunning views. Perfect. Off we go again. Past more churches. Over the wet bit. We're still dry. But not for much longer, as we decided to go back to the hippie beach for a swim. Not when you've left 40 behind a while ago, it's not. Past the town hall, past the pretty harbour with its beautiful frame of a gorgeous view, dimwit. And onward to the beach. Fruit and veg stalls in Greece always look so healthy and lush. Now, have you found that beach yet? One more church, and there we are. Our feet are hurt, and we've been doing lots of walking today, so we've come for a little rest on the beach. Check my t-shirt, by the way. New t-shirt, Juvenile Rex. Cheers, Alan. Check him out, though. Great fun. Rockstar friends. <laughs> Stop banging on about your rockstar friends. It's time for a swim. Delicious. Now, a bit of history. The streets of Mykonos Town are really narrow, there's no sort of old or uh, winding, it's easy to get lost. And this was to confuse the pirates back in the day. And Will's today. It might have confused pirates, but Google Maps works particularly well. Another thing, it's beautiful and white and you've got all the blue mostly, but did you know the colour of your door and your verandas showed which job you did? Blue for sailors, green for farmers, and if you did something else, red. Thanks for that, Rach. Now let's purchase a souvenir. New purchase for the landing. A lovely rug to remember our day in Mykonos, and not that expensive either. We took a stroll out along the jetty. 
saw loads of little fishies in the sea and then stopped for a refreshing beverage. Over to you, Rach. And the wine in Mykonos, Paraportiani. Cheers. Named after the pretty church. What are you having, Wills? And another Greek beer, Mamos. What a perfect day in Mykonos. We've wandered the streets, we had so many memories of other times here. We're going to jump on a sea bus in a minute, then we're back to the ship, grab something to eat, and then we've got a musical show tonight, which we're looking forward to, and a lovely drink on the back deck. Top day. Cheers. You buy your tickets from a kiosk on the harbour wall, then off you go. Bye, Mykonos. The sea bus stops a few times, but you won't get lost. The cruise ship stop is the last one. The ship kind of gives it away. It's time for Towel Animal Takedown. Oh, look, a lovely elephant. Elephant head. Elephant dead. One day you'll grow up, but not just yet. But now... Postcard in the pipe, doing a quiz. Yes, let's show our fellow passengers just how stupid we are. That'll do it. Postcard in the pipe, only scored 12 in the quiz. We didn't win, but our neighbours came equal first, so that was all it was right. Like the two of us, we yeah. did really well. Six of them. You keep telling yourself that, Rach, and no more tug gags, please, because... As we leave the class, we'd like to say a special cheers and thank you to Katie and Ruslan. Sorry if we said it wrong. Yeah, instead of the PayPal donation. Cheers. Really kind of you. Cheers. cheers. A lovely sail away from the perfect port day. Now, where are we eating tonight then? We're going to the Vista. An Italian restaurant. Hello, welcome to Vista. For the first time, we're in Vista Restaurant, the Italian on the ship. Oh gosh, I don't know what to have. I need to come here again. I haven't even looked yet. This is one of the inclusive restaurants. I don't want to speak ill or anything, but it's a bit small. Nice. Oh, it's very good though. Fair play. The Vista is on deck 5 on the port side of Latitude 53. The food was absolutely amazing. Trio of tiramisu? Yes, please. This is so good. You pair better exercise. We've just had a lovely meal, and now we're going to do the mile with a smile. Let's do it! You're going to walk 11 laps after all that dinner? Yeah, right. Is that you talking or the wine? We're on lap three. We're doing all right. Oh. I've got a sneaky suspicion it might just be the wine. We managed three in a bit, didn't we? Yep, it was. Three laps. Well done. Oh, where's she gone? Lost her. Or are you lost, Wills? This is what normally happens. Found her. She's over there. Where I'd probably been for the last ten minutes watching Sunset. What's next? And now we're off to go and see the musical show. See you there. After Sunset, of course. We've ended up in the Mediterranean bar at the end. The show tonight, the musical show, was probably really the best good. one so yeah, far. Really good. But we've drunk a little bit too much wine to give you a roundup now, so we'll probably do it tomorrow. So see you there. Cheers and welcome to the end of our second cruise vlog. Santorini and Mykonos, what I mean, what do you say what about combo? those? You can't get up a comp better combo than that. Absolutely love the tour. And yeah, and I tell you what, Ia, never been there. Always wanted to go there. It's made us realise now we want to go back. It's our third yeah. time at Santorini, yeah. wasn't it? We've never been there. The tour was great. It just wasn't enough time, was it, in that village? We could have done with well, another hour, hour in more. here, to be yeah. honest. We were literally. But it was only a snapshot, wasn't yeah. it? That's what cruising does. Gives you a snapshot, makes you think. You know what? I want to go back to that place. I someday. personally would have sacked off the view from the highest part of the, yeah. the island, but you know, I'll tell it you was what, still cool. Talk about being able to drive a bus on those. Jesus. Tell you what, it was good. Yeah, uh, it was absolutely it was great. Good. But one day we want to do um, a Greek island hopping our, ourselves. We've not been, in August. Not in August. It's tell too hot. It is so hot here. <laughs> Um, we want to do it in October, we want to book all the ferries, but Santorini has now popped back onto the list definitely for that tour has, to go has. and stay a couple of nights in Oya and just enjoy that absolutely beautiful town. It's fab, but, yeah, but that was great, but Mykonos, oh, what a day. Beautiful. That was just eating that taxi key. That's our fourth time yeah. at Mykonos, we've eating, stayed there twice yeah. and we've been there from ships twice, I think. Eating tzatziki. At Little Venice, where Shirley Valentine where sat, Shirley Valentine sat love that on the edge of the water, was just one of the most perfect moments ever. Loved it. The hour on the town beach was mm. absolutely great. 
yeah. I don't think we've ever swum in that beach before, have we? It was just a perfect day. It was. Really, really lovely. So glad we walked in in the morning. So glad we got the beach bus back, or sorry, the sea bus the sea back bus again. back, yeah. And how are you finding the ship? I love it. I yeah. absolutely love the ship. And even the show last night, they, yeah. they did a, a Broadway's and West End musical show. It was a really show. good show last night. Best yeah. one by best, far. Best one by so far. far. They're a hard working cast. Yeah. And yeah, enjoyed it, enjoyed seeing them because that's what I used to do. And Got a comedian tonight. Yeah, comedian, Violent comedian. Check out tonight. And it, it's very catered to British people. I, th I think probably 99% of the ship yeah, are British. Are British and British people like a pub quiz. And bingo. A bit of bingo. Yeah. And uh, go and watch a show and a free drinks package. Funny that. Um, but yeah, we'll give you a, our last video of this series is going to be more of an overview of the whole thing. We'll give you a lot more details. But everything so you far, need to know about the ship. Rachel Wills, a little bit burned, mm. loving it. If you'd like this video, that'd be great. Hit the button, hit subscribe, hit the bell for all this sort of rubbish. Yeah, that we'd... leave us a comment. Have you been on a Mirella cruise? Have you been to Santorini? Have, Have you been, been on any cross? cruise? Yeah, give us. Uh, Let your, us know. Tell us your, about it. Yeah, your views on both of those ports. Yeah. We'll say for now, as we say. In both kind of pint, pint. Too, are we? <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to, to the, the good times. times. If you saw last week's video, you saw us of questions with the captain. Now, if somebody asked him, ships like this, do they sink very often? He went, no, usually only once. Uh.